everybody. Good morning. It is Sunday morning here at Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing Network, home to the Pacific Rim Speedway. I am your host, Rubber Toe, and we are broadcasting atop, say it with me now, the Yomatsu Hara Sakai Tower. And yes, it is Sunday morning, a wonderful weekend. It is beautiful out here at the Pacific Rim Speedway. And today is the finale of the Cars of Legends Diecast Racing Tournament. We've gotten down to the final four cars who will duke it out up next in an eight lap showdown. All four cars will rotate through all the start positions. So every driver will get an opportunity to be in the pole position twice. So same standard rules apply if all four cars DNF, we will reset the lap. And if there is a tie at the end after eight laps, we will do a Southern Death race off. All right, everyone, let's introduce the four drivers that are going to be competing in today's finals. All right, first up, we've got Spy Dude from Aces High Racing, who's going to be driving in Elsa. Man, that is one fast ride. She'll be going up against Learn Nectar Racing, who will be driving in Shang Shi. Now, not one of the fastest cars in the bunch, but has been consistent, which has got him to the finals. They'll be going up against Daryl from Bay City Diecast in Tila from Masters of the Universe. And last but certainly not least, the Dark Sith Lord himself, Sneaky Bob from Vapor Racing, will be driving in Darth Vader. All right, here they are lined up. You got Elsa and Shang-Chi starting off in the front row. Tila and Darth Vader in the back row for lap one. And they are off. Elsa out in front around the sewer, but hits the whole shot. Look at the fight for second place. Elsa, oh, Elsa crashes into the danger fence after the jump. Look like Vader, wow, look like Vader came to a stop. But somehow, Tila, who was in fourth, is the only one to finish lap one. Man, the carnage on lap one is fierce already here at the rim. Check out the Kenny Vision cam replay. Look at the fight between second place, between Vader and Shang-Chi. And then this is where it goes sideways. Over the jump, Vader throws Elsa right into the danger fence, going over the jump and crashes. And look at Tila and Shang-Chi just end up underneath Elsa. And look at that. Tila just pushes through, throws Elsa off the track at Kaiju's lair. Here's the long shot coming down the finish straight. Look at that, man. She was tumbling. I was surprised. Elsa able to make it back on her wheels and Tila able to get around Vader, but then Shang-Chi ends up stopping, being blocked by Vader right there under gate six, and you can see Elsa up in the top left corner. Man, already Tila, the only one with points on the board after lap one. Vader in the pole position here for lap two. Let's see what shakes out. And they are off neck and neck around the guard tower but there goes vader and tila tila trying to challenge vader but vader is off to the races ends up doing a 180 here comes tila but vader taking the win in reverse tila in second and i do believe that was shang chi in third what happened to elsa let's check out the replay look at this slingshot of just vader and tila coming around kickapoo tila trying to pass underneath but vader was not having it. Oh, and there it is. Elsa ends up rolling high side, coming around the helipad turn, and she is sliding on her roof all the way down to the jump, and Shang-Chi was fortunate to get around her to get those two points for third place. Man, that blue car got smoked. Here we go. Lap three. Man, it's not looking good for Elsa, who now starts in the fourth spot. Tila now in the pole position. But it looks like Tila's pulling away with this tournament. Vader out in front, but here comes the slingshot. Oh, Tila almost loses it. Tila crashes into a light pole, and there goes Vader to take the win, followed by Shang-Chi and Elsa. This was exactly what the other drivers needed 
to close the gap in the points. Wow. Watch what ensues coming out of Kickapoo Pass. Tila cuts it too short, ends up just barely clipping the danger fence, gets sideways, hits the safety barrel, and just slams right into that light pole. Check it out here in a slower speed, and wow, bam, right into that light pole. And she comes to a stop on her lid in the helipad turn, and all three drivers take advantage of that DNF and get some well-needed points on the board while the leader lays upside down right there in the helipad. Wow. All right. Why, why is the shot so long? Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, Darth Vader is leading by a point. Elsa and Shang-Chi need to make up some serious points in the next two laps if they want to be competitive. Here they go, Tila out in front. But there goes Shang-Chi. Oh, Tila squeezes by him. Look at this. And then Shang-Chi gets in front of Darth Vader. Tila takes the win, followed by Shang-Chi in second. Vader in third and Elsa in fourth. All four cars finish lap four. Wow, what a fight all the way down to the finish line. Check out the replay. It looked like Shang-Chi was going to get the whole shot, but look at Tila just push her way in front of Shang-Chi and then Vader trying to follow right underneath Shang-Chi, but Shang-Chi able to cut Vader off to hit the jump first and stay in front of Vader. Vader gets sideways again. Vader just loves getting sideways. I'm surprised Vader didn't get taken out right there next to the sisters of the Kaiju. Man, he definitely used the dark force, dark side of the force right there. And here is your final point standings halfway through this tournament. We're going to take a quick short break to give a word to our sponsors. Don't go anywhere. We'll finish the second half right after this. Hey, no matter where you are, you can always watch our races here at the Pacific Rim Speedway. So please check out all our playlists on our channel and leave us a comment below to tell us what you think. All right, let's get back to the second half of this finale. All right, here they are. Elsa, again, for the second time, starting in the pole position. Again, Tila and Darth Vader are the ones duking it out in the top spot. Let's see if Elsa can make use of the pole position. Here she goes, hits the whole shot. Oh, Vader rolls and kick a poof pass. And there goes Elsa showing the speed that she has been showing all throughout this tournament. Oh, three cars finish and Darth Vader DNFs with, because he lost a fight with the danger fence at Kickapoo. Here's the Kenny Vision replay cam right there. Darth Vader takes it too shallow heading around Kickapoo Pass and ends up hitting the danger fence and just rolling over his car and Shang-Chi and Tila just pushed around on the high side, able to get around Vader who comes to a stop on his roof right there in the helipad turn that is exactly what these drivers needed to catch up but tila still out in front but shang chi tila and vader only three points separate those three drivers hopefully elsa can get some more points here from the front row but there goes vader and tila oh tila hits the danger fence and kickaboo there goes vader he spins on the lightning again comes to almost a stop it oh wow uh, they get all bunched up right there at the finish line. I thought Vader was gonna come to a complete stop right there at Kenny's, but man, carnage at Kenny's in this lap. Look at that. I thought Tila was done for when she hits the danger fence here at Kickapoo Pass. Look at this, bam, right there. And I thought it was all over, but somehow she is able to keep it on the track and stay in front of Elsa and Shang-Chi. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Man, I need to get a drink here. Look at Vader get sideways. Tila ends up smashing right into Vader at the end of the finish line here. Vader still crosses in first, but Tila amazingly is able to block to keep second. Wow. Seventh lap coming up. Still no definitive winner. It's going to come down to these last two laps. Tila is in the pole position. Let's see what happens here. Tila gets the whole shot. Oh, Vader gets around Shang-Chi to steal second. 
There goes Tila. Here comes Vader with a last minute charge. And Tila able to block Vader right there at the end. All four cars finish again. Wow. I thought Shang-Chi was going to be moving into second right behind Tila, but then Vader just pushes past Shang-Chi to take second. And then Vader's eyes are locked on Tila. They both make it over the jump, and then Vader accelerates, gets right up under the bumper of Tila. Tila feels in there, and she just throws a huge block to keep first place. Wow, they are fighting all the way down. Eighth and final lap. Vader needs Tila to DNF, and Vader needs to win. If Vader's going to be the champion, otherwise it's going to be Tila. And Vader is starting right behind Tila. Eighth and final lap. Here they come. And again, Tila and Vader get out in front of Shang-Chi. Vader tries to shoot Tila off the track during the jump, but is unable to do so. Tila takes the win. Vader doing everything he could to try to throw Tila off the track. Watch what happens. Again, I think shang is going to get the whole shot, but then Tila gets out in the whole shot. Vader gets in second, and now Vader, look at this, comes right under the bumper and almost flips Tila over on the landing of the jump, and then again right here gets under Tila coming around Kaiju's lair, but Tila able to keep it straight, keep the pedal to the floor, and takes the win. Tila scoring the most points 24 points becomes the cars of legends champion wow congratulations daryl alexander from bay city diecast racing you are the champion of the cars of legends diecast racing tournament you are one of eight drivers that are moving on to the end of season king of monsters tournament where all eight drivers will compete to see who is the champion of season two wow what an exciting time there we go apotheca death that is her shoebox scrapper coming up for the next race but don't go anywhere we're going to be back with our final thoughts right after this hey everybody don't forget to pick up your commemorative Cars of Legends t-shirt or pint glass. We also have some other fun items in our shop like Sisters of the Kaiju t-shirts and more. Oh, wow. What an exciting finals. Congratulations, Daryl Alexander from Bay City Diecast Racing who chose to drive Tila from Masters of the Universe. But let's not count out the amazing effort of Sneaky Bob from Vapor Racing, who was racing in Darth Vader. Those two were duking out all the way down. Darth Vader was favored to win this tournament, but Tila ends up coming ready to race with only one single DNF, ends up becoming the champion. Now, we have a special announcement at the end of this video you don't want to miss out because if you miss out you are not going to be happy but just so everyone knows we are going to be taking a short break here during the month of december for the rest of the month of december spend time with our family for the holidays we will be back to kick off scrapper showdown on saturday january 7th but again stick around if you don't want to miss the announcement coming up uh, could it be a possible race? I don't know. You don't want to miss out. All right, everybody. I am Rubber Toe. It has been my pleasure to host the Cars of Legends Diecast Racing Tournament. And I just want to wish everyone to be safe and keep your wheels on the road.